What is going on today guys, Stix10 here, and today we are going to do some Go Battle League. We are going to be in Ultra League that started uh, last uh, Friday, Thursday, whenever it was that it switched over. And we are going to uh, use a team of Typhlosion, Melmetal, and Alolan Muck. Uh, I do like that team so far. Uh, Melmetal does not have a second move on right now. We are only using Rock Slide. Um, and so definitely, I think my team could be a little better, uh, if I had the, uh, Melmetal with superpower as well. Second move, I think that is something that I will invest in, in the future. And so here we go. Um, now here I'm going back to back basically with these, uh, uh, blast burns. Um, obviously, they don't seal, shield the second one. I have noticed a lot of people are shielding both, so I may change up my strategy where I don't do the back-to-back. -back. I just hit the blast burns. That way, um, maybe they're less likely to do that. I don't know. I'm going to try it out in, in my next set of battles. I'm seeing a lot of people lead with Togekiss, and so that's why I am leading with my Typhlosion. Typhlosion uh, that I have uh, not super uh, bulky, not like the perfect thing but it is pretty decent here we bring out alolan muck uh, it is a little weak to typhlosion i'm gonna have to shield up blast burns do do a lot of work um so and we're gonna get off our dark pulse here and this should be pretty close to KOing. uh let's see yeah we're gonna farm down the rest of the way let's see oh it doesn't actually get to another blast burn so that's good for us uh and then Mew comes back in and we are going to uh do a dark pulse here this should take out a big chunk of its health and then we're going to try to get off another one uh, we don't even use mel metal this game so gg's trainer uh very well played definitely uh, i just had the right counters basically and i had them lined up um so going into the next one uh you can see we have not done a lot of ultra league battles uh the lag has just been so bad i've only been doing like one or two sets a day and just uh this this set was actually really really solid um so that's why i'm uploading it uh been doing a lot of like three and twos and i felt like some of those losses they were very close and and lag did play a part in some of those losses that i've had um but this one here so i'm in a pretty good position where i'm what i'm guessing is he's gonna double shield um is my guess on this Venusaur. Uh, and I'm guessing he must not have anything that he wants to switch into. Um, it's just my guess here. I mean, I, I guess I could switch out myself into something else, but I this is a favorable matchup. He is going to double shield more than likely, and that's why he's staying in. Um, there's no reason he wouldn't. And so now... I've got the choice, do I fall to this Frenzy plan or do I shield myself? I'm going to shield. So double shielded, and he switches immediately to Swampert. Uh, I'm in a kind of a bad position here. Um, I don't have anything that sw counters Swampert. That's one of the weaknesses of my team. Swampert is uh, something that I struggle against. Um, and so, and he gets double Hydro Pumps off uh, here. So, or Hydro Cannons, I mean. And so that puts me in a pretty bad position. This is going to put him pretty low, this Dark Pulse here. Uh, luckily, shields are pretty much gone, so we don't have to worry about any of that. And a couple more Snarls, and we are going to faint. I'm going to bring out Mill Metal, uh, build up some energy really fast. This should be just a Hydro Cannon again, um, because it obviously not enough turns. Uh, obviously, I think he could have uh, probably built up to an Earthquake and probably like almost KO'd me there. So I'm surprised he didn't. And then uh, Venusaur comes back in. We're going to hit our Blast Burn here with Typhlosion that we had built up previously. Uh, there's that. And then we're going Togekiss comes in. And at this point, um, I'm going to have to watch out. Obviously, if they get to a Flamethrower, that's going to be bad. But these are going to, Rock Slides are going to do a ton of work here. And I think we'll get you another one. There's the next one. And so that's GG's uh, Trainer. Thank you for that battle do appreciate it and we're going to go into the next one here uh so you can see uh definitely a weakness there with swampert um i don't have anything that really hard counters it what i've noticed is a lot of people against my lowland muck are not going for the earthquake um and so um earthquake definitely a good move against a lowland muck 
So we'll see if that continues. Uh, here we go. Once again, have a blast burn here uh, versus this. Uh, we're going to try to go for double again, allow them to get to this ancient power. Uh, we're going to shield once. And I think that's where um, if I just did the, and you can see they got a charm through in between. So, uh, and this is where like, if I make them shield earlier, I know what they're doing a little bit more maybe. Um, and so there's the double shield, which means at this point it's a race to me to get blast burn. I don't think I'm going to get it. I do faint. Uh, so that is bad on my part. They now have switch advantage. Um, so let's see, I bring in Mel Metal. Uh, then they're going to hit the charge move right away. So I'm going to shield that up thinking it could be a flamethrower. It was just that. And then they bring in Swampert. Um, and then we're going to swap. We, we built up all that energy. Um, and at this point I'm thinking, okay, I think it's just hydro cannon and it is. And so, uh, they're going to get another hydro cannon off here shortly. Uh, so that Mel metal is going to have to finish off the Swampert. Don't think I'm going to be able to get to another one. I'm not. So Mel Metal gonna have to do some work here. Um, that is one spot. If I had the superpower, I could have hit superpower, switched out into my muck, and then finished it off. Uh, just superpower is uh, something you guys do want to probably have on your Mel Metal if you're gonna use one. So there's the Hydro Cannon, and I'm going to farm down this, uh, man, we're farming it down with Thundershock. And you can see I'm very, very low, still got two Pokemon in the back, this one pretty much done for here, and then whatever is left, and it's an Alolan Muck, so we're not going to be able to do enough to this Alolan Muck, uh, so that's going to be GG's. Uh, well played, Trainer, I just made a couple mistakes there, and I feel like um, they had some good counters to mine, and they didn't... Uh, Maybe I didn't have the right counters for them. So, anyways, GG's. Uh, going on to the next one. Savitar. Savitar. And we actually get Charizard as the matchup. So, um, here I'm thinking they could shield bait me here. So, I'm going to let the first one go through and see if it is. Blast Burn, not going to be super effective. So, uh, not very effective. And But you can see it still does a pretty good chunk of damage there. And what I'm guessing is they're going to... Now they're going to Dragon Claw. So there's the Blast Burn. They actually switch. And I get already click the Blast Burn, I guess. Um, so not great there. I use all that energy. But I do swap into Alolan Muck. Sitting in a pretty good position here. I'm going to let the first one go through. Uh, not worried about Ancient Power. First one. Oh, and they get that boost. All right. So now we've got to use our shields. Uh, they're definitely going to shield this up. And we're definitely going to fall here more than likely. I think I can get off one more. Yeah, there's the next one. And then let's see if they're just going to farm me down or if they're going to try to go for a move here. They actually go for a move, so I'm going to allow my Alolan Muck to uh, just die. Bye-bye, Alolan Muck there. They're, they're still going for the boost, man. Come on. Maybe they only have one charge move on it. Uh, and now I've got two shields, so I'm sitting in a pretty good position here. Uh, we're going to get this uh, Rock Slide there, and we're going to let's see what they bring back out. Oh, it's actually Charizard. So, oh, they actually switch into Venusaur, which doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's still just going to Rock Slide, uh, build up a little extra energy there. Um, I'm going to have to shield up some of these moves, and we actually get uh, the Sack Swap there into that Typhlosion, so that's good for us. Absorb that Frenzy Plant using that as our... Uh, actually our first shield basically we haven't used any shields at this point so there's our first shield we're going to use um, I know I've got to save that shield because he's got uh, Charizard in the, in the back and it has some energy on it so going to have to be careful with that Charizard and we're going to farm down this Venusaur here a little bit more and going to get that Rock Slide so we can kill it before it gets another Frenzy Plant off because we've got to shave that shield and here comes the Blast Burn immediately we're going to shield that up and then it's going to be a race. I think I can get to it. Oh, it was actually Dragon Claw, so he did bait me a little bit, but we are able to get the Rock Slide off there right away, pretty much. And then that's going to be GG's. So very, very close match. Uh, but we are able to save those shields, and we had some good counters there to their stuff. So uh, And that Sack Swap on that Typhlosion, uh, sacrificing that little HP that I had left was good. And so next game here against Tisk. 
four four five five six six. What a what a name! What a name! And uh, we're going in here against Steelix. So uh, he immediately swaps uh, into Polyrath, and I make a bad miscalculation here, um, not counting properly. And there's the dynamic punch, which does a lot. Uh, and then at this point, I'm going to shield up, knowing it's probably an ice punch, which wouldn't do a whole lot. But um, after miscounting the last time, you know, whatever, I was totally off. And so I didn't know exactly how much energy he had. Um, so, and we get to another rock slide, which is good for us. Uh, it's going to do, let's see how much this does. Oh, he actually shields it. Okay. So uh, this is a good position for us. We're going to allow this to go through bye-bye mill metal. Uh, it actually still has a little bit of energy or a little bit of HP. Um, and then we're going to bring back in our Typhlosion. Shields are down now. So we're going to shield this up thinking it's a dynamic punch at this point. It should be a dynamic punch. There's a dynamic punch. And so uh, we're going to um, solar beam here. And that's going to be bye-bye um, Polyrath. Ah, that's so, uh, so satisfying there to get that solar beam off. Um, actually, probably could have stayed in, honestly, but... Anyways, uh, into that Polyrath, but there we go. Get the Blast Burn, and we immediately swap into our Lola Muck to absorb this Crunch. Um, there's the Crunch, not very effective, and then we're going to just snarl down here, and they actually quit. That's fine. Uh, I don't think they had a win condition. I don't know what their third Pokemon was, but GG's anyways. Uh, so we do go 4-1 and one in that set. Not, not half bad. Uh, we get a Litwick as our reward for the GBL match, and we do gain quite a bit of points there. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, definitely still working on uh, get, raising our rank. I want to thank my Patreon as always, guys. If you haven't already, click the click that button down below, and and uh, that is a way to get onto my friends list because the space is so limited. And as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. You know, stay safe out there, stay healthy, and keep on battling.